Welcome, one and all. Welcome to The Late Show. I'm your host, Stephen Colbert. You know, the world... The world continues to wait with bated breath and fully stocked bomb shelter to see if Donald Trump will have that summit with North Korean dictator and bored mozzarella ball Kim Jong-un. <laughs> Trump is hoping, he's hoping, he can convince Kim to end his country's nuclear program. If Trump is successful, it will be a monumental achievement. Just ask him. Do you deserve the Nobel Prize, do you think? Everyone thinks so, but I would never say it. You just said it. <laughs> That's you saying it, okay? That's like standing up in a theater and shouting, fire, fire, everybody's saying there's a fire. I would never say it. <laughs> but now it looks like Un is unlikely to attend. <laughs> Last week, he abruptly canceled talks with the South because it was holding joint military exercises with the U.S., which North Korea called a provocation and a rehearsal for an invasion. Ugh, I hate invasion rehearsals. <laughs> It's always at some lousy restaurant, and you gotta hear the general's father deliver his teary speech. I prefer the invasion bachelor party. Shots, shots, shots! People are firing shots. <laughs> then, uh, Kim Jong-un got really upset over comments made by National Security Advisor and Muppet on trial at The Hague, <laughs> John Bolton. <laughs> When yeah. Bolton said that North Korea must commit to a disarmament similar to Libya 2004, when Libyan leader Muammar Gaddafi agreed to give up its nuclear program in return for sanctions relief. Well, that turned out okay for Gaddafi, right? <laughs> Can we ask him? Can we ask parts of him? <laughs> oh, well. What's more, oh, Gaddafi fans here tonight. Wow. Really? Gaddafi? Really? Gaddafi okay, yeah. I'm telling your mother. <laughs> Then, uh, Tuesday? Tuesday, when Trump met with South Korean President Moon Jae-in, he admitted that the talks could totally collapse. But he's super chill about it. There's a very substantial chance that it won't work out, and that's okay. See what happens, uh, whether or not it happens. If it does, that'll be great. It'll be a great thing for North Korea. And if it doesn't, that's okay, too. Whatever it is, it is. What? <laughs> no, that's exactly not okay. <laughs> Whatever it is, it is. Peace, war, whatevs. Either way. <laughs> Either way, I feel my bone spurs flaring up. <laughs> but don't worry. Don't worry, ladies and gentlemen. Do not worry about nuclear annihilation. Trump has thought ahead and has a plan for who to blame. The president of China, President Xi, could be influencing Kim Jong-un. I think that President Xi is a world-class poker player. As opposed to you, who couldn't win at poker when you owned the damn casino. <laughs> but... I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. But yesterday, Trump reassured a troubled world that the summit will occur. Maybe, who knows? Someday a date will happen. It could very well be June 12th. Someday a date will absolutely happen. It could very well be June 12th. We'll see. We'll know next week. Did the President of the United States really just say, someday a date will happen? <laughs> I would call to complain if that was written inside a fortune cookie. <laughs> someday a date will happen. Maybe June 12th. Could be next week. Could be three weeks. Nobody knows when June 12th will be. Right. I think it's based on a lunar calendar like Easter. And 2018, I think, is a leap 12th. But they better meet. They better meet. They got no choice now because they've already made the commemorative coin marking the occasion of the summit. Well, now it has to happen. They already made the coins. Mm -hmm. We'll never get the deposit back on the band, and the six foot party sub is already on the way. Yeah, they, put the they already on. put mayonnaise on it. You can't take the meat off. <laughs> let's take a look at another. Uh, let's take another look at this thing, Jim. It's got Trump and Un. And I have to commend the designers. They were truly committed to jowl accuracy. <laughs> but that's not all. <laughs> that's not all. <laughs> the back shows Air Force One escaping the Mueller probe. 
And I'm, is, is this an exclusive, right? We've already, we've gotten here at the Late Show, we have received a exclusive sneak peek of the new coin celebrating Mitty's piece. It's just a carton of eggs labeled chickens. 